What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get rep fast and easily So the first thing you want to do you're gonna open up your nav go to NBA team and go to my minutes And you're gonna want to make every single starter have 48 minutes and as you can see I have the best available players in except at small forward because this guy right here he has a 94 open three and Brandon Ingram only has an 89 so for your starting lineup you're gonna want to have either the best players or players with a really high three-pointer when you customize the minutes you're gonna want to make every single starter have 48 minutes but you can't put yourself at 48 because 38 is the highest so you're gonna have to have one extra player have 10 minutes and in the starting lineup I have Lonzo Ball because he actually does have Hall of Fame Dimer as you can see right here and then the rest of my starting lineup are the best three-point shooters on the team as you can see this shooting guard right here he has a 93 open shot three my small forward has a 94 and my center actually does have a low three because the other center right here he can shoot threes but he's actually injured so I would have him in but I actually don't at the moment so once again in your starting lineup you're gonna want to have a point guard with dimer Lonzo has Hall of Fame and then the rest of your starting lineup you're gonna want to be able to shoot threes and if you're in the beginning of your my career you're gonna definitely want to go to the Lakers because Lonzo and LeBron both have gold dimer I believe and once you get traded to the Lakers you're gonna want to go to influence trade and from there you can scroll all the way to the right to three point and click square to filter it by three pointer and then you can look through every team see which players have high three pointers and then you're gonna want to request for them to be traded to your team and along with that you're gonna want to influence free agents to come to your team as you can see this center can't shoot threes but he has an A plus perimeter defense so I want him on my team so I can get some easy fast break buckets then I have Trey Young, he actually has Hall of Fame Dimer and he has a 98 three pointer so I want him on my team. And after you do all of that you're going to want to go to edit playbook, the actual plays in here don't matter. But then you're going to want to press R2 to go to this screen. So with each player you're going to want to make their priority one play three pointer. So I'm going to take three pointer off Lonzo's secondary and make it his primary and then you're just going to want to set everything else to none, make sure it's on none. And you're going to want to do that with every single player so that way when you're in the post every player just sits on the three point line and when you get double teamed you can pass out and get an assist. But for this rep method assists do not get you that much at all but if you do get double teamed I think it's better to pass out and get an assist than to not score or get the ball ripped because if you do end up getting a turnover it's not going to make you lose any rep but you're going to lose a possession on offense and your teammate grade is going to go down really far and teammate grade is actually important for your rep so I'm going to go ahead and put three pointer as every single person's primary priority and don't forget that when you put three pointer as primary you're going to want to make sure priority two through four are all set to none and then once you get to yourself you're going to want to put your priority on post up low your second priority on post up high and the third and the fourth don't really matter but i just put the third as cutter so that way when i am cutting my teammates do pass me the ball so once you do all of that you're going to want to go to options and settings and make sure you're playing on hall of fame 12 minute quarters and the reason you're going to want to play on 12 minute quarters is because if you play on five minute quarters it's going to be kind of hard to get takeover because of all the timeouts and all the stops in the game and the switching of quarters so what i do is i play on hall of fame 12 minute quarters and i actually do simulate at halftime and this is because at halftime you get a teammate grade bonus you get an opponent strength bonus and if you play the whole game you're only going to get the bonus once but if you do simulate at the half and play a second game that's basically the time of a full game but you're going to get more rep because you're going to get double the opponent strength and double the teammate grade and the reason i play on hall of fame is because if you were to play on pro you'd be making a little bit more shots like your field goal percentage would be higher but you would only get a times one multiplier and on hall of fame you get a times 1.5 multiplier and also when you simulate at the half you either have to be up by 11 or down by 11 so when I tend to be up or down by less than 11, I just keep playing, but when the game gets towards the end, if you're in a situation where you still can't simulate, I just do a drop step and then I do an up and under. So I drop step, I fake the layup, and then I take a layup or a dunk. And this might seem kind of obvious, but before you do this rep method, you're going to want to max out your post badges. You're going to want to max out your post spin technician, your drop stepper, your up and under specialist. And you could max out your relentless. That kind of helps when you're taking contested layups. And I sometimes forget to do this, but if you do want more rep and you don't care as much about your VC, you're going to want to buy boost for sure. You're going to want to buy jump shot boost and buy blocks boost as well because on defense what i do is i leave my man wide open in the corner i kind of go behind him so he has an open lane to cut and then when he cuts i just chase him down and i bait him into a block so one thing i do to keep my teammate grade higher is i actually went to coach settings i went all the way to the bottom and i turned team communication to offense and defense and this might not even do that much for you 
but for me it keeps my teammate grade high because every time the other team runs a pick and roll it'll say switch above the guard's head on your team and then you just know when to switch instead of the arrow on who to guard just switching randomly and then you get a defensive breakdown so that helps with teammate grade because if you do get an a plus you actually do get an extra 6,000 rep points and this might not matter as much but i do have my pro stick orientation on absolute and my off ball freelance mode on camera relative and then i have my pro stick defense on absolute and who to guard i have that turned on and also when you're in the my career settings you're gonna want to turn the crowd intensity camera shake off because i'm pretty sure that when you're at a home game it still makes the crowd shake when the games are really close so you're gonna want to have that turned off i also have action replays and after the basket camera cuts turned off because those just make the game take longer and now we're gonna get into the overalls and the things you can do at each overall so at 90 overall that's when you can change your players minutes and all that stuff once you hit 93 overall you can go spin the vip wheel and you could get unlimited boost which could help you with this method and at 94 overall you actually get the on court coach badge and this helps so much because before i hit 94 overall this method it wasn't hard but it took a lot longer because my teammates didn't pass the ball that much but once you have the encore coach badge your teammates are going to pass you the ball every time you call for it and that's it for the overalls as you can see by using this blocks baiting method i actually did get 20 blocks in a game which is crazy the two things that determine the amount of rep you get are the number of shots that you make and the percentage that you shoot so you're going to want to make sure that you shoot a high percentage and then another thing that you're going to want to do you're not going to want to play against good defensive teams so if you're a power forward you're not going to want to play against the warriors for example because they have draymond green and if you're a center you're not going to want to play against the jazz because you're going to be guarded by rudy gobert so try to skip games where there are good defensive players at the position you're playing and now that i've told you guys my settings and given you pointers on the rep method here's what you actually have to do for this rep method so all you want to do is post your man up wait till he makes contact with you do a post spin and take a dunk and if you do get a posterizer it's going to get you a ton of rep and when you are in takeover and you do a post spin on your defender He's actually going to go flying. So you're going to want to wait till somebody runs into the paint. Like right here, I waited for Devin Booker. And then I just posterized him. As you see in the top right, it says posterize. And one really good thing about this rep method is that you don't even need contact dunks. Right there, I didn't even get a contact dunk, but it still said posterize. And if you are a 94 or higher overall, you're going to want to call an isolation before you do a post spin. And this will clear the floor. And when you do do the post spin, a defender will play help defense. That increases your chances of getting a posterizer, which is the main thing that will get you rep from this method. After doing a post spin, you're obviously not always going to get the animation that you want. But make sure to put a rebound back up if you miss and get it because you do get a ton of rep from offensive rebound score and you also can get an and one which you get free throws from and that will help you with your rep. And this is honestly up to you but the thing I like to do is I like to wait until I can get team takeover because I feel like it lasts for a lot longer than normal takeover and you can be more effective with it. And also if you're not a 94 overall you definitely want to use team takeover so that your teammates can pass you the ball. To call an isolation on offense all you have to do is press left on the d-pad and and then you're going to want to press R1 and choose quick isolation. And as you can see, I called it when I was coming up the court, but I also called it once I got in the post just to get my teammates to run away from me. That's pretty much it for offense. So on defense, you're going to want to leave your man open, let him get a wide open cut, and then you're going to want to bait him into a block. And if you do end up getting a fast break like I did here, as you can see, there's a guy in the paint. So I decided to take the dunk because I did get the posterizer. And posterizers are pretty much all you care about for this method, but you also want to combine posterizers with either a drop step or a post spin right here on defense i let my man get a wide open cut but then i went into the paint to give him enough room to take the layup and since i was in front of him i got a block instead of a foul and you could try to stay behind him and get a block but i've realized that if you do that you'll be more likely to get a foul so try to run into the paint stay in front of him and give him enough room so that his teammates will pass him the ball and then bait him into the block and when you are trying to get blocks, make sure that you don't crash for the rebound because I ended up getting three blocks in this one possession just because I did not press triangle for the rebound. As you guys can see by this screenshot, I did get subbed out with one minute left in the second quarter. So I played the whole first half pretty much. I finished with 86 points and nine blocks and I shot 41 for 45. And I did also shoot perfect from the free throw line. So when you're doing this method, just make sure your field goal percentage is high. Make sure you can make your free throws for extra rep and make sure you get a bunch of blocks. And on the right side of the screen, you guys can see from nine blocks, I got 6,000 rep. Free throws don't get you that much, but you may as well just make them. For posterizing dunks, I got 19,000. That's basically 20K right there. And then from post spin finishes, that's an extra 6.6K. 6 
And then at the very end, I did get 6,200 for my teammate grade bonus, my win bonus, and my opponent strength bonus. And that's the reason why I sim at the half instead of playing full games, because you get that extra 18,000 rep. So if you do this method, you're going to get about 75,000 rep points per half, which is insane, because I just sim at the half, I play a whole other game. So basically, if I do play 48 minutes, which would be the equivalent of two halves, I will get 150,000 rep, which is insane. And one last thing before this video ends, I do use the Long Athlete Layup Package, and the five dunk packages that I use for this are Rim Grazers Off 1, Rim Grazers Off 2, Under Basket Athletic Flushes, which is probably going to be the best dunk package for this method, Big Man Hangs Off 1, and Quick Drops Off 1. And that's going to be it for the video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. If you guys have any questions about this method, just drop it in the comments below, and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.